I've been saying for a while that I would not be surprised if the deal ends up being D'Angelo Russell, Jalen Huchifino to the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn sends like the 27 protected, I think Phoenix pick to the Hawks. Lakers send, I believe it's either the 28 or the 29 pick to the Hawks and they get DeJounte Murray and maybe like Patty Mills in the deal and they send like, you know, Jackson Hayes to the Hawks, something along those lines. And the reason for that is, I've said it before, obviously D'Angelo Russell's on a heater right now. We all know that he's been on an absolute tear. If you guys want to hear the actual statistics that D'Lo is putting up right now in the NBA, it is pretty insane over the last 10 games. I mean, for the season, he's at 17 points per game score, but over the last 10 games, he is a guy that is specifically averaging 26 points, 51% from the field, 49.5% from three, six assists steal and a block a game and two rebounds insane and you know he's a maestro he can play on and off ball but the hawks don't want him and i've said this before you people have been like why would the nets do this the most consistent version of d'angelo russell arguably the best version of d'angelo russell the version that d'angelo russell was an all-star arguably you know almost a 13 all nba player was with the brooklyn nets and the brooklyn nets are the only ones who have ever been able to manage his personality have been able to harness the player that he is i mean he was a guy who was averaging 20 21 and 7 for them on like great shooting splits so for me i look at that situation and i think all right yeah everybody remembers the three and a half years he spent in minnesota you know he returns to la and he's been in la now for basically a year and a half um i i think when we look at the guy that he was in brooklyn he he really was the best version of himself and if there's any franchise that believes that they could benefit for from trading for d'angelo russell i would not be surprised if it was the brooklyn nets due to their past history so i mean the exact report that we're hearing is that D'Angelo Russell and the Brooklyn Nets, according to ESPN, have you know an interest. If they do make a deal, the Brooklyn Nets, it would be likely for a guard. They're saying, and you know, Spencer Dinwiddie would probably have to be sent to the Hawks for like salary reasons. But as Dinwiddie's supposedly going to be the guy that they get moved, and that's just what we're hearing. So I want to I want to hear you guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of like how this is going to be a play out? I mean, it's definitely funny if the uh, returns i think it's a it's a wholesome story but you know what you're getting with Dilo is a guy who you know can be an absolute maestro with a ball i mean you can shoot your team into a win and you can shoot your team out of a game you're gonna get a little bit of both with d'angelo russell and there's nothing wrong with that you just have to understand that like that's who he is d'angelo russell is you know one of the more creative ball handlers and score in the leagues but he'll take all audacious shots and he'll hit them at the rate that's acceptable and he'll track a lot of tension while facilitating the offense which allows him to distribute the ball at a decent level but he's a poor defender who gives a little effort to stop he's a turn style and he'll shoot his team into wins and also shoot them into losses so he's a good instant offense but you know you, you gotta pick or choose so let me hear your thoughts down below